Speak to any UK mountain biker about iconic British mountain bikes and the Orange 5 will be pretty much near the top of their list. Orange, who hail from the north of England, have been cracking out single pivot mountain bikes for a couple of decades now and it's something they've been refining for years. The Orange 5 basically defines what a UK trail bike is. There's 140mm travel at the back and 150 up front. There's plenty of mudroom and it's a real simple design which can take the worst of the British weather. Being UK built, Orange don't always offer the best value for money. But for Trail Bike of the Year this year, we've gone for the 5S, which is their base model 5. The bike in our test came in at £3,130, but this comes with a few little upgrades that are easy to do on Orange's own website. The base model 5S comes in at £2,800, but this doesn't come with a dropper seat post and comes with relatively narrow wheels, so we added a dropper and slightly wider wheels. As well as being able to adjust the spec on the bike, you can also choose your own colour. Some of them do have a little upcharge, but we went for an orange for this bike because, well, it's an orange. The spec on the 5S is actually really well thought out and obviously has a real trail bent. Up front, there's 150mm of travel from RockShox's Yarry Fork, so plenty of stiffness up there. And this is matched at the back with 140mm of travel from a RockShox Monocar T-Shock. Orange have also put a lot of thought into the drivetrain. There's a race face crank, which we really like and then a mix of Shimano and SRAM drivetrains. So there's a Shimano mech with Shimano shifters from the SLX range, along with a SRAM 10-42 cassette. There's also, from stock, a little chain guide on there just to give you that extra peace of mind on the really rough stuff. It's all brought to a stop by non-series Shimano M615 brakes, and the cockpit and finishing kit is largely provided by Raceface. The aforementioned seat post is a RockShox Reverb Stealth, and the whole bike rolls on a pair of Maxxis High Roller 2 tyres in 2.3 inch and they sit really nicely on those wider core rims. Orange's 5 has been one of the most iconic UK trail bikes for a very long time and this is simply the best one they've ever made. Even though it's the lightest Orange 5 that's ever been put together, this certainly isn't a light bike. In fact, it's the heaviest on test. So how come we liked it so much? Simply put, this thing is a stag party on wheels. It is an absolute rude boy. It is just flat out, pure, unadulterated fun. You can get all geeky about kinematics or suspension linkages and what the back wheel does or doesn't do at certain points in the stroke. This is basically a hinge with a shock in the middle. But so what if it's just a, essentially a hinge with a shock in the middle? Orange have been working out where to put that shock for years now and they've actually moved it slightly this year to make it a more poppy, responsive ride. Where it really wins though is just how interactive it is as a bike. You press the pedals hard, it lifts a little, it stiffens a little, it's on your side, it's squaring its shoulders up and it's attacking the climb the same way as you are. In with big old Cory wide rims on it for extra grip on the descents and a fair amount of weight that you're hauling uphill, at least you get the feeling that it's properly charging, it's properly trying to help you up there. Not like some of the slightly dull and flaccid carbon bikes you could spend your money on. As loud as that big box section aluminium frame can be when you're absolutely clattering down a set of rocky steps or through a boulder field, it's never as loud as the whooping and hollering of all the people who've been riding it. Everyone who's ridden it on part of testing has just absolutely loved their time on the Orange. Fought to just ride it more and more and more. It's always been a great bike for people who just want a simple, really communicative chassis to have a ton of fun on but this year they really have nailed it and it's an absolute ripper as guy said this is an absolute riot of a bike and we all loved riding it every opportunity the suspension system is maybe a little bit less refined than some of the more complex systems out there the single pivot can hang up a little bit on square edged hits but what this means is that the bike gives you loads of feedback from the trail. You know exactly what's going on underneath it, and it's an absolute hoot to ride on pretty much any trail out there. Inevitably, with UK manufacturing and a non-direct sales model, it's never going to be the best value for money bike. If you're looking for a bike for smiles over miles, then the Orange 5S has to be on your shortlist. <laughs>